Section 10.1.39. The manufacturer of a certain engine treatment claims that if you add their product to your engine, it will be protect protected from excessive wear. An infomercial claims that a woman drove seven hours without oil thanks to the engine treatment. A magazine tested engines in which they added the treatment to the motor oil, ran the engines, drained the oil, and then determined the time until the engines ceased. Complete parts A and B below. It says determine the null and the alternative hypothesis that the magazine will test. So again, we have the null hypothesis, and then we have the alternative hypothesis. Now the population parameter that's being tested here is the population mean. So our symbol is going to be mu. Remember that the null hypothesis always contains the equality. And so the claims, the information, the informational claims that a woman drove seven hours. So they're saying that that is the mean that would be uh, for a woman to draw, drive without oil for that particular engine treatment. So the mean is going to equal seven. Now it says it claims that, so therefore it doesn't have a greater than or a less than symbol or not symbol, but in the particular problem, it doesn't mention anything about greater than or less than. So therefore the alternative is going to be not equal. So it's going to be not equals seven. Therefore that would actually be a two tailed test. Okay, now the next part says both engines took exactly 12 minutes to seize. So what conclusion might the magazine make based on this evidence? Well, compare the time it took the test engines to seize with the time it took for the engine in the infomercial to seize. Notice the difference between these times. With this in mind, determine what conclusion the magazine might come to regarding the null and the alternative hypothesis. In this scenario, the infomercial's claim is not true.